friends and welcome to another video. Today is a video like I've never done before and I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to show you my five minute makeup routine and I'm doing it without any edits, any cutting. I'm just going to show you that it just takes five minutes and record the entire process. So here we go. Hope I don't mess up. Okay, here we go. Five minutes on the clock. So first thing I do is I take my CeraVe facial lotion, moisturizer, and I'll just smack it on there. I love this stuff. It's awesome. Make sure to bring it down my neck, of course. And I like this stuff because it's thick. Like you can tell it's really moisturizing, but it dries really fast. And it doesn't feel like, oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, you don't feel it sitting on top of your skin, you know? Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is take my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I love how the mirror is creating, like, a total circle and shadow. <laughs> oh, no, I can't open it because my hands are too moisturized. Okay, so I just brush my eyebrows back. Ooh, I need to cover that up. I got a little dot. And I just fill them in. Whoop pretty sparingly. I don't like try to draw outside of the lines to make them bigger or anything like that. I just kind of follow my natural brow, make them a little bit darker. And I like to extend the tip out a bit. So this way it just creates a little bit better. Oh my gosh, the lighting in this is ridiculous already. Creates like a better shape, doesn't leave as much hair. Um like sparse places on the hair so I'm just gonna fill in this side real quick and truly you guys like this is my five minutes sometimes it takes me longer than that because I'll do more steps but for the most part when I'm just like chilling on a Saturday which is what I'm doing today I just finished cleaning the house in fact I filmed it all so if you want to go watch that deep clean with me there's some really satisfying before and afters in that video I'll link it up here then I take my Anastasia Brow Gel and I just brush my brow hairs perfectly in place. And this stuff really does freaking stay all day. My brows really don't move once I brush them. I really like a natural, this is kind of ridiculous lighting, but I really like a natural brow look. Just kind of follow the natural line of my brow. And normally I do not use concealer, but since I have this lovely little guy right here, which this is not a zit, it's actually a um, cut from, by the way, I'm using um, Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer. Wow, that like concealed it perfectly. Um, it was from a tiny little eyebrow hair that wouldn't come out. It like got stuck and like was pointing out and hurting and I just like ripped it out with my fingernails, but I also cut myself in the process. Anyone else do that? I do that a lot. I get them like, here and I get them above my brows. It drives me nuts and they always create a cut. Okay, eyebrows done. On to eyeshadow. I'm going to use my mini soft glam palette today. This These have like the cutest shades. I'm just using a flat brush and I'm going in with a white base. If you've watched any of my other makeup videos, you know that this is why I don't use concealer. I just bring my white eyeshadow down under my eyes because I don't like the cakiness of concealer. I don't like how it creates lines and creases throughout the day. And I just have never found a concealer that I truly like love. The Naked Skin one from Urban Decay is the best I've found for like cover up um, of like zits and stuff. But I just think it's much easier to get rid of those shadows with white eyeshadow instead. So I think... I'm going to take a fluffier brush. This brush, I love it so much. I've had it for literal years. It came in an Ipsy subscription. I don't even know if Ipsy still does subscriptions, but it was like $10. They'd send you samples and a cute little bag in the mail of a bunch of fun new makeup. And I was obsessed with my Ipsy bags and makeup samples. But this brush came in my Ipsy bag a long, long time ago. 
and I'm telling you it's one of my very favorite makeup brushes I have it years later so I'm just taking this dusty rose color it's like a mauvey pinky purpley color I use this a lot in my crease because it's pretty subtle but still gives you some nice color um and it pretty much goes with anything and then I'm going to take my where is it single shadow of I think this is called Vermeer mm, don't know it's my very favorite shadow it's just ah oh my gosh don't worry false alarm it didn't crack but it did fall out of the pan um it's like this beautiful just like shimmery white almost like silvery but also goldy oh I just love it it's such a pretty neutral to put a little shimmer on your lids I put it in my um, inner corner as well just kind of tap it out so pretty and yeah I have it in a single shadow um and then I'll take that same fluffy brush and I'll just kind of blend those two together real quick then I'm just going to take my other soft glam palette and use this cute Delium Tools angled brush. Delium Tools are my other favorite brushes. I love them. I have most of my other brushes are Delium. And I'm just taking a brown color and bringing it under my eye as bottom eyeshadow. I do not like putting eyeshadow, um, oh well, I do not like putting eyeliner under my eye. I like putting eyeshadow under my eye instead. And this stuff, I love Anastasia's eyeshadow. It just stays. It stays in place all day. Um, I find when I put eye, sh not eyeshadow, but I find when I put eyeliner under my eye, it just like bleeds and just looks really bad by the end of the day. So I use eyeshadow instead. Now I'm going to put a tiny, 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 this light is hilarious tiny little swap of um, my Stila Stay All Day liquid eyeliner on top. This stuff doesn't freaking move. I have to concentrate. Liquid eyeliner is probably my favorite. Sorry, I have to concentrate. My favorite um, makeup product. I just love it. I think it defines your eyes concentrating on the other side here and it doesn't move I just love it but I don't think I would choose it if I had to choose one makeup product only for the rest of my life because it looks weird without other makeup I'd probably choose mascara um if I had to choose one makeup product for the rest of my life let me know down below what you guys would choose as your one makeup product for the rest of your life if you had to choose which gosh I would hate that so much okay and then last step I am taking my L'Oreal Lash Paradise best mascara in the entire universe I use waterproof just gonna take it on my both my top and my bottom lashes and call it a day so this is pretty much like my everyday relaxed look. I'll put a little bit more on typically when I go to work. Um, but not a lot. So this is pretty much how you'll catch me. And that's that. That is my finished makeup look. I brought you here in the light so you could see. It's very subtle. It's just very like highlights my natural face and is not cakey. It's super easy to maintain. I don't have to reapply it during the day. So this is my quick and easy five minutes. I don't know how I did. I don't know if I made it to the five minute mark or went over. Probably went over a little bit, I would guess. Um, but especially when I'm not narrating the whole thing to try to fill space, you know, because I didn't edit that little section. Um, it usually takes me even under five minutes sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know any tips you have below for what you do for your five minute makeup routine. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos. I do lots of beauty on this channel, lots of cleaning, organization, fun vlogs of Eric, my husband and I. So stick around and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!